Guys, honestly, I am getting sick and tired of repeating myself on this very YouTube channel. SMA is dead. The old way of doing SMA, guys, honestly, is dead. I keep seeing people popping up to me saying that they can't close clients. They've done hundreds and on top of hundreds, on top of hundreds of outreach. They're setting very little meetings. They can't even get on meetings to even pitch their services. Most people aren't even able to get replies to even give them feedback on their own outreach. How crazy is that? People are sending outreach, right? to brands or businesses, they're not even getting responses, so they don't even know if they should tweak their outreach or not. That's how bad the market is actually getting when it comes to this SMA space. So I'm saying in 2023, SMA is dead. Well, the old way of doing SMA is honestly dead, guys. If anybody's trying to tell you anything different, honestly, it's because they're trying to sell one of their courses or some crazy shit like that. Now, I'm here to tell you the actual real truth about SMA. Everybody, if you look on YouTube right now, guys, everybody, even these new dudes that are popping up on YouTube, I've literally looked in the last like six to seven months, I'm seeing like all these new random dudes popping up making YouTube channels on SMA and the whole idea of that is to get you guys into their either their, their free group which probably gonna end up like them launching some sort of course or some sort of uh, coaching or something like that but I'm here to tell you the real truth guys SMA is dead the old way of SMA is dead I'm just gonna rectify it with this one video because I'm getting so sick and tired of seeing this exact same shit now first and foremost what do I mean by SMA is dead should you start an SMA I genuinely think right first and foremost just for that guy in the comment section, SMA, the old way of SMA, that's the key phrase, is dead. Here's what I mean by that. Most people, when they start an SMA, go like this. And it, it normally ends up being something on the lines of this. Like, they're either in school, they're in college, they're trying to get away from some sort of job, they're in a job that they don't like, or they're going down that nine to five route. They then want to, you know, explore other options so they start googling like how to make money online this is exactly what i did by the way when i was like dropping out of university then they come across all these different business models such as like um amazon fba drop shipping um, affiliate marketing crypto trading just forex trading in general then they come across sma they then end up settling for something before SMA. Normally it's like dropshipping because it feels like you can click a few buttons, make money, you never have to speak to anybody. I That's the reason why I picked dropshipping. Then they end up realizing that dropshipping is actually more difficult than what it actually sounds like and what the, you know, the dropshipping gurus are making it out to sound like. They then switch into SMA and they come across the same like five cliche gurus on SMA. They then pick Facebook ads and they start going down and sending cold emails or doing cold calls straight away to try and land clients. Guys, everybody in their uncle is doing that exact same thing. So why are you doing that? In fact, I actually have a saying now, and when you think about it, it's actually very true. If some of these gurus have like hundreds of thousands of followers or subscribers on their YouTube channel, and they're getting thousands on top of thousands on top of thousands of views from all these people that are trying to start social media marketing agencies, and they say, go and do cold outreach, don't you think you're gonna be competing with thousands of people that have just literally listened to that said video? So you're gonna do the same thing that everybody else is doing, and then you're wondering why you're not able to stand out. Guys, the old way of doing SMA is dead. And what I mean by that is this is what most people do. They pick a, they pick a niche, just randomly select a niche. Normally it's something they're kind of passionate about or they have some sort of like family oriented business. Like me, I picked real estate because my dad was in real estate, for example. I then started, you know, hammering cold outreach after cold outreach after cold outreach. And honestly, guys, when I first started my social media marketing agency way back in April 2000 and two, 2018 it was, I didn't land a single client for like 16 months. And the reason for that is because I was following the gurus all the way through these free YouTube videos. And I was doing cold outreach after cold outreach after cold outreach after cold outreach. Now I'm not saying that cold outreach doesn't work guys. It's just that if you think you can jump onto SMA, have a very similar offer to everybody else, not put out any sort of like content marketing or anything like that, literally just create a domain, start sending emails after you've warmed it up and land clients like really quickly, from a very just like bland script, you are you, you are a fool. You actually are a fool. It's happened and it can happen, but the chances of that is not very high. I'm going off of, you know, the probability of that is very low is what I'm trying to say. Those are ex exceptions to the rule, not the rule itself. So there's a new way of actually doing SMA, guys. Now think about it. If everybody's going left, you want to go right. Hear me out. If everybody's doing cold outreach, you want to figure out how to do some sort of warm outreach. If everyone's trying to chase clients, you want to attract clients. I've been talking about the same thing for a very long time. In fact, on this very YouTube channel, I have a video way, way, way back, and I mentioned this kind of like analogy. Imagine, right, use this as like a metaphor. Imagine you're trying to chase a cat, right? But this cat is so nimble, it's so friggin' fast, it's just so agile that every time you try to go grab the cat, it actually moves away from you and you're never able to chase the cat. 
a smart man, instead of trying to chase the cat, you know, imagine you're, you're, you're watching your friend and he's trying to chase this cat and he's trying to capture the cat and, you know, the cat's this prize. And obviously, hypothetically speaking, me metaphorically speaking, should I say, the cat is the client. So you're trying to chase this cat, but it's so frigging quick that every time you go to grab the cat, it's, it's just balancing around. It's literally so frigging fast. It's like a ninja from frigging Naruto. Like, it's just bouncing off the walls and all doing all this crazy shit. And you cannot catch the cat. A smart man instead, instead of trying to chase the cat, he will attract the cat. So he might lay a bowl of milk out on his lap and the cat will actually come to him and lay on, lay on his lap and actually, you know, he's caught the cat. I want you to take that same concept and put it into your actual agency, guys. Instead of trying to chase clients, attract clients. Now you're probably wondering and sat there wondering like, how are we gonna attract these clients, blah, blah, blah. I understand what you're saying. Like everybody's doing cold outreach. We wanna do warm outreach. But how do we actually go about doing that? Well, what I recommend you guys do is start building like a personal brand around your around your agencies. I actually call this the triangle method. Imagine a triangle, no Illuminati involved. The first thing would be to use OPAs. This is something I created. You call it OPAs, leverage OPAs. An OPA is an other person's audience, someone else's audience, basically. Now imagine this, right? I'm gonna give you another kind of like analogy. Imagine you're an online fitness coach that helps obese people get you know, in, in shape to their ideal shape. Well, to find those sorts of like obese people, where would you go? Well, what you would do is you just go to groups online, whether that's Facebook groups, LinkedIn groups, groups on Reddit. And what you would do is you would go and join these groups. These are other people's audiences though. This is the, this, this is the thing. These are other people's audiences that have already been built for them. Or in fact, you could even go to other known gurus in the in, in the space. For example, let's say there's a dude called John and he's like the he's like the guy that does like in fact you guys probably know who Keynobody is, the Keynobody guy. He has a huge business around Keynobody or just anybody online that's into the fitness space. I'm pretty sure you've seen those big influencers that have like um, millions of subscribers on their on their on their channels and they've got thousands of subscribers uh, or shall I say followers on their Instagram. Well what you can actually do is leverage their own their audiences because they've spent the time building an audience. They spent millions of dollars building building an audience and building a personal brand. And those are people that are probably under, like underweight or overweight that are trying to get fit. So what you could actually do is then leverage those groups because they're I your ideal customers. Think about it. If you're an online coach and you're selling weight loss, for example, you could go to Facebook groups where it's like talking about weight loss. Like you, you literally join weight loss groups on Facebook. Not only that, but you could probably go and buy one of these Go Gurus programs. And with the program comes their group. So for example, if you're selling appointment setting to other agencies, here's a real cool cool little, little trick for you. You could buy somebody's program, like Eman Gadget's program, for example, and with that program comes a whole bunch of people in a Facebook group. These are people that are agency owners trying to start their agencies. They're probably struggling, which is why they bought the program in the first place. And they've already identified themselves as having real money to invest into their business. So you can go and buy that program, for example, and you can actually leverage that group that comes with it. It's the same thing with SMA. If you're looking for e-commerce brands, there's loads of frigging, in fact, for e-commerce brands, a real cool thing you could do is go out of the industry, go into the dropshipping space, and there's gonna be a whole bunch of dropshippers talking about Facebook ads for e-commerce brands. All you would need to do realistically is go and buy their program, and inside that program, there's going to be a whole bunch of e-commerce brands right there. I just put you onto some game right there for completely free, guys. Can you see how powerful this is? Think about it. There's a dude on YouTube that's been talking about Facebook ads for e-com brands for like the last three, four, five years. Go and pick any guru right now, like, like Hayden Bowles, for example. For example, I remember him back in the day when I used to watch that. I'm pretty sure he has some sort of how to start an e-commerce brand or how to start dropshipping kind of like uh, online course. Bet you any money if you go and buy his program, it comes with a lot of like um, like group members. If he has one, I'm just I'm not saying I'm not saying he does. I'm not, I've, I haven't checked in on him in a long time. But long story short, he probably has some sort of online program where it helps e-commerce brands with Facebook ads or even just Facebook ads gurus in general that talk about Facebook ads for like um, e-commerce brands. Go and buy their program, for example. Yes, it's gonna cost money, guys. Like you, sometimes you have to spend money to make money. But anyway, it's gonna come with a whole bunch of like, it's gonna come with a big group and inside that group, there's gonna be qualified members for your actual niche. It's the same thing. You can you can join real estate groups. You can join solar, solar. I don't know, there's like a solar group. I think I've seen one of those on, 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 on Facebook not so long ago. But you can leverage what you call OPAs. OPAs are other people's audiences. These are people that have built the audience themselves, you know, over a long time. And now they've got qualified leads in that. And then what you can go in there and do is actually start pitching your services to other people. Very sneakily, obviously, you can get kicked out of other people's groups because you don't own the group. But there's ways around this, obviously. And this is what I've been teaching in my one-to-one -one program. So if you do want to jump to that, 
click the link below, jump on a call with me, see if it's the right fit. If not, don't worry about it. The second thing you can do is leverage something like Upwork. Upwork is still classed as an other person's audience because you don't own the traffic on Upwork. So what you can actually do, and this is the main way you can actually get clients really quickly. I'm talking, you can probably get a client within like two to three days. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen students, and I mentioned this all the time on my channel. I've literally seen students come into my program on like a Monday and by Tuesday, the very next day, they've already set meetings up on that Monday, the very next day, two days into it, they've closed the client for like $1,500. I seen this, I seen a student do this, I think it was $2,600 yet in three days. So that's like jumping in my program on a Monday and then by like Wednesday, Thursday, you've already made back $2,600, which is absolutely nuts. And the reason for this is because the traffic is warm. They've qualified themselves. It's so much easier to go about doing this than it is doing cold outreach. Because think about it, cold outreach, when you think about what cold outreach is and you break it down to its just basic form, cold outreach, all it is, is a piece of HTML text on a screen. Think about, think about how crazy that is. You're, when I send you an email, for example, you, you might see my little profile picture if I've got a profile picture, but you don't know who I am. If, I, if I'm completely cold, you don't know who I am, where I'm from, what my experience is. You just see it as a spam message straight away. In fact, let me ask you this. When was the last time, right, you bought something from cold, from like a cold email that was worth more than, $600 per month. When was the last time you did that? So why do you think other, in fact, let me ask you another question. When was the last time you bought an online program for like a thousand dollars? If you bought an online program, you've considered buying an online program for somebody, I bet you any money you've only considered buying that online program after you've watched months on top of months of content from that said creator. So for example, if you've bought Iman Gadget's program in, in, in the past, Think about how you actually bought that program. I'm pretty sure it wasn't from Eman himself giving you a direct message on like email, like emailing you and saying, hey, I've got my new program, come and, come and buy it. Unless she was already in his program and he was on his you know, email list. A apart from email list, being on someone's email list is completely different from a cold email, by the way. Eman probably didn't send you a random email out of the blue and say, hey, come buy my program for 997. That's what you guys are trying to do, guys. Do you not see it? Whereas the people that have brought Iman, Iman's program, for example, you've probably watched a whole bunch of his content. You've probably been subscribed for him four years. You've probably gone back all the way through his journey like five years ago and watched all his videos and then considered buying. Even people that have bought my online program, how did you get there? How did, think about how you actually got there. You watched content after content after content after content. You've resonated with me. I started just showing you proof, results, breaking down stuff just transparently in the background. I've showed you all of this throughout, the, for, throughout my journey on YouTube. And then only then have you considered purchasing with me. And then you made a purchase. It's the same thing with an agency, guys. Take the same concepts, put it into an agency. This is the new way of running an agency, guys. I'm actually getting now my actual students, all, all of my students, to actually start creating content around their services on YouTube, around their services on TikTok, because TikTok is blowing up right now. It's very easy to go viral and or that's, that's one way, building your own audience, your OA. That's what you call your OA. Imagine a triangle. The top bit would be to use OPAs. The second bit would, would be to build your own audience. And the third kind of like part to the triangle would be to use cold outreach. So your other people's audiences, a very quick way to get some wins. Building your own audience is, is a longer term play, but that's how you're gonna make your millions like 100K per month, 200K per month. That's, if you think, if you look at everybody around you right now, Alex Hermosi, Gary V, um, Iman Gaji, just ev everybody. Everybody builds their own audience. The people that are doing the best have built their own audience. I highly recommend building your own audience and you can do this for your own agency as well. And again, for the, just to give you a bit of a case study on myself, I've done this before. I've, been, I've created videos on this exact YouTube channel where I'm talking about Facebook ads for real estate agents, landed clients through that. I'm not even joking, I still get DMs to this day from a video I created like two, three, maybe even four, almost four years ago, whatever it was, and people are still watching that video and it's compounded over time. You see, one of the worst things is with cold outreach, that I'm, that I'm, and again, I'm not saying that cold outreach not, doesn't necessarily work, I'm just saying that there's better ways and smarter ways to actually spend your time and energy. Cold outreach is obviously important, you still need to do it, but if you've got the triangle all flowing together, that's when you're even better, especially if you're using the hybrid system. Use a warm traffic source, AKA other person's audience, Start building your own audience as well. Start building some cash flow from that. And then now you've got some virtual, you can actually have a much better chance of landing cold outreach clients. The reason for that is because you can actually put a team in place now of virtual assistants. You can just go into the hybrid system. Hybrid system, again, is where you use a warmer traffic source, for example, like Upwork or Facebook groups, free Facebook groups, or even paid Facebook groups. You start landing clients in there. Then what you can do is you can take that cash flow and invest it into hiring five different virtual assistants. Each one of them are capable of doing five, uh, 50, 50 outreach per day for you. Now you're doing 250 outreach per day consistently without even lifting a finger. I'm telling you right now, if you're, that you're trying to raise a 10K per month and you're doing 25 outreach per day, 
and I'm doing 250 hours per day, I'm gonna win every single time. Even if your script's better than mine. Even if your script's better than mine. The reason for that is because I'm just getting more shots up than you. Even if your script's more personalized than mine, even if it's more, even if it's a better script than mine, I'm st and, and you've got a better offer, I'm telling you right now, I'm just reaching more eyeballs. It's all about getting eyeballs, attention. Attention is income, guys, so you need that attention. And, if one, and, a, and a, one of the worst things I've noticed about cold outreach, guys, is that it's a one-to-one -one channel, AKA, if you're sending cold emails to real estate businesses, if you wanna reach out to 100 real estate businesses, at one time, or well then you're gonna to have to you're gonna to have to go and find a hundred businesses and individually message them one by one, a hundred times over to do a hundred outreach to a hundred different real estate businesses. Whereas, let's say you've started building your own audience, for example, or you're in some sort of Facebook group with like a thousand members of that are real estate agents, or if you just got your own audience or just a YouTube channel that's all based around and you've got a whole bunch of followers and subscribers that are like real estate agents. If you drop a video on like. Facebook has a real estate agents and a whole bunch of real estate agents watch that. You've, that's what you call one-to-many marketing. You've dropped the video one time and thousands of people have watched your video. So SMA, the old way of doing SMA is dead. Not only that, but think about it guys. If everyone's doing the same thing and everyone's offers now, put it this way, everybody's offers are sounding the exact same. Your offer can only get, I mean, you can always improve and improve and improve and improve and improve your offer, but it gets to a point where these everybody's offers like kind of like come into a point where it's like they're almost offering shit for free now. Like don't you, you if we don't get you X result, you don't pay us, or you only pay us after we get you the result. You can only say that a certain amount of times and improve upon that a certain amount of times before you're damn near doing the friggin' service for free. So everyone's offers kind of like co like coagulating now and kind of like sounding the same. So how do you stand out if you've got the exact same offer, the exact 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 same service? Well, you need branding. Branding, think about it guys. Look at all these water, I, I, I love using this analogy again, but look at water bottle companies. All they do is sell bottled water. It's the branding behind it that actually gets them to sell though. Oh, a watch, that's there you go. That, that's an even better example, a watch. What does a watch do? It's not really the materials you're actually buying. I mean, yes, gold is more expensive than frigging, you know, stainless steel, obviously. But if you've got two stainless steel watches and one's branded and the other's not, you're probably gonna pick the, the one that's branded, obviously, if you're sold in on that brand. And the reason for that is because it's a brand. But think about what the watch is doing. All the watch does is tell time. The only thing that separates it is the, is the brand behind it. So if you've got a brand behind your SMA, your actual agency, you're gonna do so much better than everybody else because you're not just a piece of HTML text going out there on an email. So guys, I hope that you've understood this video. I do reckon that this new method, I call this SMA 2.0, honestly, is the new way to go forward. Start leveraging OPAs, warm audiences. And again, I've been talking about this in agency tramitation for the frigging longest time ever, guys. People are only just starting to clock on this. Your favorite gurus that are coming out on YouTube channel, on YouTube now, I've been talking about this since before they even were thinking about jumping on YouTube. Before they were jumping on YouTube, I've been talking about this, guys. If you want to enroll into agency tramitation, that is still open for enrollment. We've been getting crazy results from that and that's probably one of the reasons why. I don't just teach you to do cold outreach like a dumbass. Cold outreach is cool, but it has its place. I'd rather you start with warm outreach, start getting some clients under your belt, get to at least 2.5K, take that 2.5K and hire literally five virtual assistants right there and then on the spot. Boom, train them all up and I teach you how to train these guys all up, by the way, give you the scripts, the templates, the training itself and then allow them to do the cold outreach for you. It's a huge waste of time. You, you can't get rich doing $5 an hour tasks, guys. You can literally get virtual assistants to do outreach for you for $3 an hour if you know where to look for them and if you know how to train them up and how to manage them. And again, inside of each rotation, I teach you that. Anyway, guys, I hope you're doing well and I hope you can understand this. This is the new way of doing SMA. I keep saying this over and over and over again and I will keep saying this over and over and over again until you get it through your heads and you can see the results. Guys, if you wanna see some results, just go back on my channel for HR Mutation, they're all there. Anyway guys, love you guys. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.